Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the new event in Wild West. They just released it on Christmas Day, so three days ago. And um, I'm going to be showing you kind of all the things that um, some of you may know and some of you may not. Because they added a bunch of stuff. And yeah, we'll hop right into it. So the first thing is there is one giant Christmas tree right here. And if you walk up to this purple present, at least for me, it's different for everybody uh, color-wise. But it should have your name on it. And all I gotta do is redeem the present, and since I've already gotten it, it's not gonna give it to me. But it should give you five of these free Christmas cookies, and it boosts your health regeneration by a little bit. So those are pretty helpful, so make sure you get those. I don't know how long they're gonna be available, but that is the very first thing of this event. And there are a few other things, so, um, so basically, it's kind of like a giant battlefield, um, in this game at this point. There's, um, Santa's Workshop and the Krampus's Keep, so, um... If you head over to the Copper Gulch Mine, um, there actually is, at that, like, giant barn, Santa and his elves took it over, so they're kind of just, like, hanging out there now. And, yeah, so you can actually fight the elves, you can get some clothing from them. I believe you can get a hat, um, maybe boots. I haven't gotten any drops from the elves yet, but there are plenty that you can get. But yeah, so there's a bunch of elves in here, and if you pull out your gun and or have bounty in here and you shoot these guys, they will fire back. They have, um... They have the laser cannons from the Halloween update, and they do um, 10 damage per hit. I believe they have around 150, 200 HP, give or take. And I think they have 200. And then, if you run all the way up here, you're going to see that on your left side. If you head through here, all the way up to the top, you're going to see it's Santa's gift shop. There's all kinds of stuff in here. There's the happy snowman, and you can actually get the angry slash sad snowman um, by fighting snowman in the uh, snow area. Yes, yeah, so that's happy snowman, and... And so you have to buy them with tokens, so as you can tell, there's, uh, nice tokens and naughty tokens, so how the nice tokens work is if you're a good guy, and, um, and you kill a bad guy, you get a nice token. So basically, how the tokens work is, like, they reflect your actions. Like, if you're a bad guy with bounty and you kill a good guy, you're gonna get a naughty token, because, you know, you killed a good guy, so you're on the naughty list, according to Santa. And then for the good guy token, like I said, if you're a good guy... You don't have bounty, and you kill a bad guy, and then you get nice tokens. Nice tokens are a lot harder to get, unfortunately, at least in my opinion. Because it's a lot easier to get a bounty in your head by accident and not really pay attention. But, um, but yeah, so that's kind of how the tokens work. And, yeah, as you can tell, it's like 15 tokens. And keep in mind, this is 15 nice tokens. So, let's say you have 15 naughty tokens. You ha you can't buy this axe, unfortunately. Yeah, so that's his shop. You can get the Santa suit. There's a sleigh. There's a reindeer. But yeah, so the sleigh is only for this event, and you can, like, attach it to any horse you want, like the reindeer. And yeah, so that's about it for Santa's Workshop. There's a bunch of presents here and stuff like that. It's set up pretty nice. And the next thing is the Krampus's Keep. So if you head over to Outlaw's Perch, I'm gonna ride over there so I can, um, be a good guy. Because yeah, that's the thing. They, um, what this game did, they made the spawn time at Outlaw's Perch, um, a five-minute cooldown. So basically, if you want to spawn there... And then you want to spawn there again, you gotta wait, I believe, it's either 270 seconds or 300 seconds. So it's, uh, four and a half or five minutes, I'm not positive. But anyway, you have to, um, you have to wait a long, long time to spawn there. So, um, since the Krampus boss is actually there, what I recommend doing is going to Callahan Manor. Because, legit, um, as you can tell, you can see the giant castle right there. And so if you spawn your horse, there's two ways to get in here. You can either... You can either A, go left, which there's going to be a giant ladder up here. I'll show you that. Right up here. Yeah, so right up here, uh, there's going to be a big... I'm going to go actually kill these guys real fast. Yeah, they're probably going to be... Uh... Oh, snap. Yeah, so there actually are polar bears here that um, replace the grizzly bears for the frozen zone, which is pretty cool. And as you can tell, he, d he did drop a token, which is pretty good. But yeah, I'm actually just going to make this a little bit easier. Yeah, so you did drop a token. So basically, you have to be on the bad guy team in order to pick up bad guy tokens. So if you're a good guy and you see a naughty token on the ground, you cannot pick it up. Keep that in mind. But yeah, this ice bridge, they updated it, so now there's a hole in it. So you have to actually jump over it. But yeah, so as you can tell, now I'm on the Krampus' team. And there are these snowmen you can fight if you're on the good guy team. You can fight these snowmen. And sometimes you can fight them if you're on the same team. Although it says you can't damage your own side if you spawned as one of them. But yeah, as you can tell, there's a Krampus over here right now. I need to defend him because I'm not on his side. But, um, man, this boss is pretty cool. You can shoot him. These crystals will heal him. So when the crystals come, all you gotta do is shoot him down. Again, I can't shoot him because I'm on his side. But yeah, but yeah, so all you gotta do, um, he's pretty similar to the Halloween boss. Because yeah, like I so said, all you gotta do is you shoot the crystals in order to, um, prevent him from healing. Because right now, 
he literally can't die um, because the crystals heal him pretty quick. Like, if he's at half HP, he's on for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, he'll be at, um, he'll be at, like, three quarters in no time. Oh, um, yes, that's it for the boss, pretty much. The one other thing about him is that it, if you help kill him and you're within a certain radius or you um, help kill him within a certain time frame, then you actually will get the frozen rifle and 10 nice guy tokens. So if I head over to Peter Dorado, I have it in my thing. Maybe not. But yeah, anyway, so if you go to your bank, um, or no, if I go to my bank, I have the frozen rifle. I can't show it to you right now because I can't spawn there. But yeah, so I have the frozen rifle. That one's pretty good. It actually does have fanfire. It doesn't say it has fanfire on it. But if you press F, it does indeed have fanfire. You can tell I'm trying to snipe this guy. But yeah, so that, um, yes, that's probably the best way to get, um, good guy tokens. If you're in a faction, you can just farm tokens on your buddies. Because, you know, all you gotta do is just become a bad guy. And that's pretty much it, to be honest, you know? Okay, that guy's dead. But yeah, that's mainly the main way to get tokens. Either, um, in your faction, if you create one, or, um... Or are looking for one. I believe the Wild West Discord server does something along the lines of that. Like helping you find factions. But yeah, there is all kinds of stuff you can do. So, just farming your friends. Or being a bad guy and going to farm the people up top who are, um... Who are fighting the Krampus and are good guys. Obviously, you know, don't just spam farm them to the point where they can't do anything. And just, you know, like, not allow them to do anything. But, you know, I mean... But, you know, I'm like, if you're gonna farm them, that's fine. But, you know, like, just don't be so excessive about it to the point where they literally can't do anything. Like, does that make sense? But, yeah, um, so that's kind of the main farming method. And, and I already mentioned the elves earlier, and you can kill the snowman. The snowman will drop coal randomly. I think this guy's trying to kill me. But, yeah, so the, um, yeah, so the snowman will actually drop coal. And, um, they drop it in stacks, and it does sell for $20 a piece. So, if you want to get some quick profit, because, uh, Obviously, if you have Bounty as a bad guy in this event, it's kind of hard to do any things. People will kill you and you just lose a lot of cash. Like, I've lost, um, I think I was at almost 10 grand and I was down to 7 at one point, but I got some coal. But yeah, so, it's kind of the best method. Um, the snowman do drop cosmetics as well. Um, the one snowman drops, or, um, the snowman dropped the frowny face version. They dropped the, uh, frowny face version of the, um, giant head that I showed you. The giant, um, what's it called head? Here, let me see. I think I have it, actually. Ooh, let me see here. Pretty sure I do. Uh, yeah, here we go. The stomach head. Yeah, so as you can tell, it's the angry stomach. Yeah, they're gonna try to kill me. Yeah, as you can tell, you got the angry stomach right here, because I showed you the nice one earlier. You guys are all just trying to light me up right now. What in the world? Ooh! Oh, dang. Got some money off that. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this event, and there's a couple strategies to defeating the Krampus. If I could actually get into his castle without getting lit up, that'd be great. Yeah, the other way, I'm a I actually I'm going to show you the other way into his castle, because I showed you the latter way. I'm going to show you this way as well. Pretty much, if you head down here, all the way down here, there might be some polar bears here, and I believe you can get polar bear-like pelts from them, and those will be rare after this event, I would assume. They're pretty rare to drop. I haven't gotten one yet. But yeah, so if you cut through here past that little snowman, if you spawn there, you're gonna see a couple swinging axes. These things will mess you up, so please be careful. But yeah, so if you head all the way up here, this is another way into the base. So if you're having some trouble with the guys fighting you, as I did up front, I'm gonna head through here. There's three axes down here. You only have to go through two. They deal, fit, uh, they deal 50 damage to your health, so you'll be at half health, and they can legit you tap you. But yeah, so there's a way in the Krampus Keep right here. So you can shoot him from this direction. Sometimes he'll be able to get you if you rotate your gun. Sometimes it's best to get a good angle like that. Sometimes it doesn't work at all. Yeah, so that's a pretty good um, angle to partake from. And then there's another good sniper spot. There's stolen presents here. You can't actually do anything with those. But he will drop stolen presents sometimes. Most of it automatically goes to your inventory. For example, as I mentioned earlier, the frozen rifle goes to your inventory and the 10 nice tokens. Although sometimes like his hood and um, his hood and a few other things actually drop rather than... Um, yeah, so as you can tell, I can kind of snipe the crystals here pretty easily. And this isn't a terrible sniper spot either, because as you can tell, I can try to, like, hit him real fast and get some quick hits. Yeah, so that's a pretty good sniper spot. But yeah, he does drop presents, um, on the ground. He does drop the, the um, his hood. I believe he has the holsters. And he also drops, I think, a scarf or boots or something like that. Yeah, there's two things he drops. He drops the hood, I know that for a fact, and there's one other thing. And two snowmen will spawn here every so randomly that uh, help defend him, so make sure you're wary of those. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this event. Like I said, he's not easy to defeat, although I believe if you've helped within 
like two minutes of him dying, then it'll say you've um you've like helped or you assisted um with the fault or the death of the Krampus or something like that, and again it'll give you the ten knights tokens and the frozen volcanic rifle. It only gives you one um frozen volcanic rifle, unfortunately. I tried to get another one by putting it into my bank. I'll go over here and show it to you. Yeah, um as I mentioned earlier. I tried to put it into the bank, and um, you can't get more than one to my knowledge. It might not be a guaranteed drop, although I know the 10 nice tokens are a 100% guaranteed drop as long as um, you helped with the boss within a certain time frame. But yeah, as you can tell, the rifle's right here. It's not actually a pretty nice rifle. Yeah, if you had right here, pretty, it's a pretty standard rifle. It does 35 damage, although if you hold down F, it's a little bit wider spread, and it shoots a whole lot faster. But yeah, so that is kind of the main thing for the actual winter event. And there is one other thing down in Puerto Dorado. You do have to have a black market key for this. But if you head all the way down here and you um, unlock this, as long as both people have a black market key because Big Gino shoots you otherwise, if you both, um, if you have some other person sitting in this chair, you actually can trade with them. And there will be a little trade box that pops up. I will show you that as well. And there's also um, a bank right here. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, um, I'll have another person sit down in this chair, and I will show y'all what the trading system looks like here quick. But yeah, so if me and this guy try to trade anything, then um, we'll have a little bit of a problem, because Big Jimmy's obviously going to try to shoot us. But if we simply just do that and accept it, if both sides accept you have five seconds to actually do anything. And you have to trade at least one item, so if both of you have the same item, for example, you both have a pistol, then you could trade the pistol if you're trying to give somebody something. The same pistol for the pistol and then the actual item you want to give the person just because the trade won't just let you give stuff it says the other person have to have at least one item so yeah for the actual trade to work you have to have the same item trade plus the other item and they have a bank legit right here so it's super easy to access this stuff now this is uh new this didn't used to be here the bank i believe but yeah so that's pretty much it for this event and all of the extra stuff um the new map expansion is coming soon, I believe, but that's not out yet. But yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. According to the patch notes, at least, I believe oh. that's pretty much everything. And like I said, I mentioned the cosmetics as well. There's a couple world changes. And again, the uh, polar bears, they only spawn in the snow. So if you go hunting in the snow um, over by Aldo's Perch, you'll find a lot of polar bears. And like I said, I believe they drop pelts, and those pelts will be wrapped after this event. So that's pretty much the event for you guys. I hope this video was helpful. Um... Check out the rest of the channel, leave a like on the video, consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see y'all in the next one.